And now, your first alert five weather. And welcome back everyone. Today was probably the nicest day of the year so far here in Southern Colorado. Nothing to argue about. We saw sunshine, light winds and some very mild to warm temperatures here across the region. 79 today in Pueblo after a low at 31. The springs today at 72 after our morning low just above freezing at 33. Here's a live cam view from Fountain. As you take a look at Pikes Peak in the front range on this Monday evening. Still some daylight to go as the sunset tonight here locally around 730 or just a little bit after it. And here's a live cam shot on top of Cheyenne Mountain. Usually we get some good breezes up here, especially in the afternoon to early evening, but the trees are still the skies are blue. And as I mentioned, it was just a picture perfect day all throughout Southern Colorado. Right now in the Springs downtown, seeing those blue skies as well with 70 degrees under mostly clear conditions. For Pueblo, we've dropped off a few degrees since that high of 79, but very dry air in place. So that temperature tonight will eventually cool down to the low 40s. So not as cold as what we saw last night. Both areas actually staying above freezing for, probably for the next couple of nights at least. And tomorrow with that dry air in place and high pressure building in, we're going to add another 5 to 10 degrees to our daytime highs of the potential for some records here in the parts of Southern Colorado. Now something I've been watching sort of the downside of the forecast is some increasing southerly winds, mainly across the eastern counties, not anticipating these warnings for the I-25 corridor, at least at this point. But that red flag warning tomorrow goes from noon to 8 p.m. And then as the winds strengthen on Wednesday, the fire danger risk does elevate more of a higher side by Wednesday afternoon, and it does expand all the way back towards Teller County, Fremont County, here in the Pikes Peak region, Pueblo County as well. Now in the short term through tomorrow, high pressure keeps us generally high and dry with some mellow conditions, except out across the eastern counties. Then as that ridge begins to shift east, we keep the heat at least through Wednesday. Thursday's warm as well, but this developing trough of low pressure starts to increase the upper level wind, and that usually translates to some stronger winds at the surface. So we'll be dry through Thursday. Then by Friday, that load pushes a cold front into southern Colorado, and this could be some beneficial moisture. I like what the precip forecast is showing through the next five days, but notice where the bullseye for the higher amounts is. Generally near the Palmer Divide, Teller County, up to the Denver Metro and the Front Range. Lesser amounts expected for the San Luis Valley and down across the Southeast Plains. That, of course, can change since we're about five days out, and that is something we watch closely here at News 5. Here's a look at this mile lows tonight 40s and 30s for most areas highs tomorrow into the 70s and 80s so if today gave you a little touch of spring fever tomorrow just might give you a little preview of summer right these temperatures more in line with what we'd see in early june than the middle of april and records possible here in the springs on tuesday more than likely we shatter it on wednesday now thursday that's the windier day I think we'll see high fire danger as well through Thursday afternoon. Friday, we get some rain and thunderstorms to develop as moisture moves into the region, and that increases through the afternoon to early evening. Still some lingering showers possible early Saturday, but not a washout for the weekend. I think by Saturday afternoon, it should be nice here locally. For Pueblo, we've got upper 80s on Wednesday, but those 80s stick around through at least Thursday before that cold front Drops us down to the 60s on Friday and Saturday. Canyon City, just a nice and warm forecast. The wind not as bad Tuesday as what we'll see Wednesday to Thursday. It's just something to keep in mind as you're planning some outdoor activities. Speaking of that, by the weekend, we get some showers early Saturday, but nice and dry by Sunday. And for Woodland Park, I've got mild breezy conditions through Wednesday with rain and snow moving in by Friday afternoon. Stay with us. We'll have more coming up after the break.